tutta ciò cos'è can i say thank you no okay you know i just wanted to let you know how much i needed this something nope move along buddy move along ah, corporal man of the hour hey sarge hey now that's some hardware huh just saying <laughs> they get the best shit on wizard island Okay, now that's more like it. Huh? Ah, okay. Corporal St. John. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. The Sarah's bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go and go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Co Coronel? No, no. Yeah, if anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out of... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Kiver se jak žít na hovně, hello. Brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Yeah. Captain yeah. Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. <laughs> Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill chemical weapon, that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war as we take the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Damn, my God, Toto. 
and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Company dismissed. Team Mario, dobry fanatyk. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? <sighs> you can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Oh. Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How is your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment. All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Is that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Yeah. 
gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? Well, that sounds serious! What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. We're still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up Get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. that out of the way my god what the hell is that that is a sigil it's a warning sign from the rippers what's a ripper rippers rest in peace they were a cult they cut themselves they worshiped the freaks they wanted to be like them and um <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them how do we deal with them if we run into them you can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Oh, no. A ruski tank. Wow. 
thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a super smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. A pop up mobile, huh? Oh my god! What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. That makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. All right. <laughs> what the hell happened? These, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. 
I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Fucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! <coughs> let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits are part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Mm. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh... I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, oh, down. Mother of fuck. You were saying? Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here, give me a fire. Do whatever you can to destroy it. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Security personnel to the main building. If you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voice strike like fucking crazy. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. 911 has broken on. Ta trzeci masz skelo żywotą debilek. Bamboo! 
moving! Get up! Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly. Gotta keep at him! Kill him! We got this! Ale nie to, to chcę bazmek. Override ID two zero zero seven six five nine. Override security Alert. protocol Alert. Alpha seven six one has, has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have and locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Shit! Snipers up there on the roof. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Come on, yes, sir. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Four of them. Police are on their way. See Stand down and you will not be harmed. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us. Alert! Major. Alert! Nine one one has been called. Police. And you will not be harmed. Alert! Alert. Come on, let's try the door. This is a level Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Deadly force is authorized. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, Alert. is there a way to that Alert. rooftop from here? Has been Over here. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not... No, that's the protivnici. A tu si ty debil. 
You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down some okay. fire, keep okay. their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. The door's locked out, remember? Huh. Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Dessus. Hello? Peut-être le voir. T'as dit que c'est pas ce que c'est quoi ça? Adesso io posso andare a sentire di lì no Allo Put your hand on that reader Co chcesz? Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a. Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID: five four two nine zero zero nine. You got that? Ah, uh, five four two nine zero zero nine. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? These days, that's all they do. Okay, go. Hey. Against all trespassers. Warning, deadly force is authorized. No, check to some. Hello? Deacon Lee, Lee St. John, ID 542900. Tell your men to stand Deacon down. Lee St. John, welcome to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. This is your like first this. login. Please. Disable the first response. Get her! Uh, Shoot a left when you have the chance! Shut the door, you dick of God! Čo behať, jak splašený kon. Nik debil. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Here we 
we go. Mani SRT debil Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <sighs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. I've seen it when the first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have 
broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky and letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. So, it's gotta be it. Yeah. That does it. Burn you little bastards. Some other aim.
Tak dobre, tak to je jeden strom, a druhý je v I just gotta jimmy that door. Come on, open, open, open. Not so hard. Loser, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the... Here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? You found Sarah. Yeah, I found her. It was me, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, dude. <coughs> when are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not going to get into that right now. Me? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, she? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Uh, Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Good. You'll never believe Wow, that's great. Um, could you tell? You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about lighting the candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving.
It's clear. You gonna come out and eat something? warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? 
Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? This day, as the sun sets on this island, Arturo Jimenez, dark to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory, Captain Jimenez was murdered, slaughtered, his life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour. Tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. I go you do the same. Company dismissed.
What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering 